afternoon and we'll have a look at my bees today these are the australis bees which are my daughters and her little bee box that she painted with nicholas powell's tube on the front which is pretty cool it's getting uh, a bit late in the afternoon it's about 5 30 so they'll be starting to close up for the night so we shall open this up and have a look they've been pretty busy now i will pull this back Hopefully I won't disturb them too much. Now, it's quite sticky. Now, this has been a, a few months now since I last opened this. So we can see they've changed the entire front. Made a whole tube section. All that lovely wax. And we've got all these lovely honey and pollen pots. I'll pull this back. It looks like there's some kadagi seeds there, which are from gum trees, obviously. So they've been quite busy over the last couple of months. Um, obviously no brood, but um, certainly there's plenty of honey and pollen. And you can see it all hanging down there too from the top. So it's probably been a couple of months since I last did a video on these girls. Oop, the one just went in there then. I'm lucky I might see another one. So I've been doing this induction for, yeah, I would say it'd be a few months. And I have been told the Australis take a long time and they generally do fill their induction boxes with pollen and honey or nectar uh, rather than putting brood straight in. But I believe that's pretty typical of most of the bees anyway. Um, certainly different to honey bees. But I think these little guys, are, girls are fascinating. zoom in but you can see there's plenty in there I put wire in the bottom to keep them up off the floor so if there was any honey spilt or anything at any time if I ever decide to do a split later on or anything which I would actually have to cut them out I do have some split frames from Nicholas Powell um, I have made them but I'm going to put them into another hive after I get this one going So I think that's pretty cool what they've been up to. Certainly gone a long way. You can see all this lovely, really sticky propolis along the sides. So hopefully if I don't squash any bees, I'll close that back up. I'll just close up the plastic viewing panel. Now I'm not going to change that viewing panel, but Some people do take them off and change them. Oh, I might have just squashed one in there, I think. Let's have a look. Oh, that's no good. Nope, it's all right. No, I didn't. I thought that was a bee. Cool. I think that panel's actually quite dirty. It's very hard to see in there, but um, you get the general idea. So, yes. So, we shall shut this one back up daughter's done a fantastic job with all of her little pretty flowers and her little bee on the front. Oh, and there's a bee coming out. Put my little makeshift roof back on. It's not the best, but it does the job. Keeps the weather off. Now over here we have our carbonarias. And there's a few running around outside still. This roof isn't as good because it's a bit older, it's been a bit more weathered, but um, we'll take that off anyway. I'll put that down. Now, this is uh, inside here. Now, they have lots of kadagi seeds in there, and there's a little tiny bit of structure, and they are working on the entrances and the entrance into the actual log. If I can pop this up, fly out so you can see all that in there. They haven't done a huge amount, it's mostly just structure. And there was a little bit of old structure from old nests that I had, which I, this one was from. And the bits of wax around the edges and that is what I've actually added. 
and they're obviously using that to then seal everything up. So here's some Kadagi seeds. I'll probably clean that at some later stage, but it's not interfering with the bees at the moment. They seem quite happy. And they're going in and out. No real dramas, I don't think. See that structure there? Oops, focus. So hopefully at some point these girls will be, um, I would say the way this is going it won't be for another year before there's any chance of it becoming anywhere near ready to be taking off the log. But, uh, bees doing bee things down in there. Looks like there's a dead bee down there one of them's wrestling with. He's going to try and take it out. Sorry, I always say him. I don't know why. I do know they're all girls. Okay, so we'll seal that back up. Push down the edges. No little girls caught underneath there. So there's the carbonaria. So I'll see how they go and I'll probably have another look in a few weeks and I may do another video up but more than likely my next video will probably be honeybees at my brother's place because we're doing a flow hive at the moment. Something else I have to work on. Uh, making some sort of a design whereby I can uh, extract the honey without harming any of the bees with the natives. Nicholas Powell let us have a good design. And I will be endeavouring to do something with that design, if he allows. I do thank Nick very much. He's helped me out a great deal with my native bees. And also, uh, oh, having trouble here, Russell Zabel, who I got my log hives from. Obviously, that's my Carbonaria log. And this is my Australis log, which I've obviously had for a bit longer. So, yes. So, guys, thanks very much for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye.